Hey everyone, Aiden here, and well, some of y'all might have been expecting a session two for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and well, long story short, after checking to see whether or not I got a particular Gold Skull Tola at the end of the stream, or at the end of the session, I realized that even though in the the video file that I looked at to uh while editing wasn't that stuttery like only only problem was uh some audio video desync here and there uh it was it was bad in the uh upload. As well as from the mainstream. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's scrapped for the time being. So here we are. Contra. For the regular NES. Been wanting to get to a harder game. Uh, I haven't played a difficult game for the channel in a while. And watching, uh, Cuphead with one of my friends. Uh, got me in the mood to play Contra. So here we are. If I manage to beat this fast enough, I'll even be moving on to the sequel, Super C, also for the regular NES. Uh, I do plan to be using the Konami code, uh, but I might not be able to enter it quick enough to get the 30 lives for the playthrough. We'll see what happens. But one last thing. If you have a history of epilepsy or are photosensitive, uh, are prone to photosensitivity, there we go, uh, please don't full screen this if you decide to watch. With that said, let's get right into it. Those who don't know the Konami code, it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. If you do it right, you have 30 lives, as you can see in the top left. Movement's pretty simple. Uh, A... A button to, uh... To jump. B button to fire. If there are platforms below where you're going, you can jump down. Or if there's water. Gee, thanks for making me actually fall. I didn't want to. Did not mean to jump. Um, okay. That works. I much prefer the spread shot anyways. Gotta love constantly respawning enemies. Eh, good enough, I suppose. Oh, I wanted that rapid. I used. I don't know what's with me tonight, but I am usually better than this. Red shot tears through so quickly. In my opinion, much better than the laser, even though the laser is more powerful. So we have now entered the base, which changes up how the uh, the gameplay is done. 
I'll take that rapid shot. Why not? Destroy a core to break the wall, and well, on to the next room. Sometimes you don't even have to worry about the guns that are on the ground. Oops. Try not to hit the wall too often. Because it can kill you. Alright, some of these guys love to throw grenades. You know what? That's better than nothing. That's better than the standard gun. So... Why not? Oops. Come on. And that, what's sad about this is the fact that this isn't even the actual boss yet. Like, we haven't opened the boss yet. Here it is. This is the actual boss. Well, with that, base one is finished. It's normally not, like, usually when I play this, I normally don't have difficulty with the game until stage five. I don't remember how many stages there are, to be honest. So, welcome to the waterfall stage, the one that basically introduces what is eventually known as Contra Syndrome. Do not fall off and hit the ground. Uh, hit the uh, the bottom of the screen. You will lose a life. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I forgot just how broken the freaking laser can be. So glad I had that invulnerability there. Right shot. Gimme, give gimme. I am taking my time, daggone it. I do not want to lose my spread shot again. Not if I can help it. Come on. Hell, if done quick enough, I might even do a second run of this. Seeing as the, there will be more enemies and whatnot. Oh. This. This thing. The Guardian to the second base. Oh, what? I thought I was far enough away. Alright. Now all it can do is open its mouth and shoot those fireballs like that. Come on. Oh, right. Four forget. 
further, I should say. Pretty fast with the sound alerts. But with that, boss three done. How many lives have I lost? Oh, only three. I thought I lost more than that. Ah, yes, yeah, the stage that introduces these things. Ah! As well as the, uh... The hidden... The hidden core to the door. Woo! Hi, Atula! Morning! Ah, darn it. I was hoping for a power-up. Hopefully everything's going well for you, Chula. Wait for these punks to stop. Uh, what? Was not expecting that. Well, this is one of the yard stages. There's only a few like this, thankfully. Oh, hey, that sound indicated we got an extra life. It's like we'll probably be taking on the boss. With just the standard gun. Ah, I thought I jumped soon enough, but I guess not. Really? Rapid? Ah, whatever. Now that I have that, no oh, guts! I can shoot my regular gun about as fast as the, uh, the machine gun. I'm doing alright, doing alright. core. Oh, that could have been a useful power-up. I hear that you can't sleep. Oh, no, you don't. That, okay, maybe you do. You can only damage them when they're actually... Oh, right, those things track. You can only damage them whenever... They're together like that. Uh, okay. Doing alright, I suppose. And these guys are part of the problem. If memory serves, these guys can get quicker. Oh yeah, it gets pretty challenging. I'm hoping to find a spread shot by the time I reach the mini-bosses of this stage. This stage has given me so much hell in the past. This is the reason why I've entered the Konami code for the 30 lives. Ah. 
The funny thing is, this is actually easier than the, uh, in my opinion, than the, uh, arcade version. Which this is a port of. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Wait for the bombs. Keep moving. And... Screw it. I'll grab the fire. Oh wait, there's no need. Ah, there goes the rapid. Oh, yes, I managed to hit him before he managed to pop his head out. Agreed. I've never been able to do that. I've never been able to do that. What the hell? Those things right there are the main are have been the bane of my existence in this game. And yes, there's more than one on this stage. This is the last one though. But, uh, part of the problem with these things, if you do not have a weapon that is strong enough to destroy them, they will end up hitting you. And getting hit, of course, equals a death. Thing is, it has been long enough that I don't remember whether or not it just, uh, moves off screen and allows you to continue, or if you need to beat, uh, if you need to destroy it. Meaning it backs up. Nope. Not to my knowledge. Ugh. I don't want to give up my spread shot. Alright, we're nearing the boss. I mean, you might be able to with the first one, but that second one, definitely not possible. And like that, the boss is done. <laughs> Energy zone. Oh, yay. We're getting close. I don't want machine gun. No. Just like in the arcade game, uh, you get extra lives for a set amount of points. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for that power-up to disappear. Disappear. Come on. No. Bad. Ah, uh, looks like I'm taking the laser. Oh, hi. I should have stayed up there. Well... Or I should have gone with the lower route. Hey, Sage.
Oh, right. Invulnerability. Let's go. Got to get through as quick as possible. Ah, I ran out just at the last second. <laughs> Damn it. Well, should be boss time. Yep. Ah. Oh, I almost did it. Uh, it was for, I want to say maybe two, three years. But it was arcade only at first. I believe it was, uh... One of the first games Konami ported over to, uh, the NES. One of the mini games they ended- arcade games they ended up porting. Um... Oddly enough, though, Castlevania was the reverse. The very first Castlevania started off as an NES game and got ported over to the arcade. And it uh, it apparently felt so different. Actually, you know what, I can't say apparently because I played a, a kind of port of that game called Haunted Ground. Fire. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Better than regular gun. Oh god, hi. I didn't even pay attention to how many doors, uh, how many lives I had left. Okay. Oh, I almost ran into that! Oh, sure, you can run along that, but I can't. Fuck you, game. What? What? Okay, that explains it. Let's go. Well, I'm not getting that power up. I don't want that power up. Ow, what the hell, game? And this was. Ooh, this was most definitely one of the games that ate so many people's quarters back then. Shooting at me. Enemies will definitely become more aggressive if I decide to do a uh, second playthrough. And there will be more of them. <laughs> ah! 
Ah! Well, that's one less freaking uh, grenade thing for me to worry about. Centipede, uh, asteroid, I think it's the moon one you're thinking of. Moon patrol? Okay. Not sure if I have or not, Sage. Oh, that was cheap. You know what? Now I don't gotta worry about that crap anymore. Okay, can't fast flu that. <laughs> was it about the uh, 2D image? Oh yeah, yeah it was. Or not image, but model. My bad. Very nice. And welcome to the final stage. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Aliens galore. Hope you like uh, HR Geiger, because, uh, yeah. Ah. Damn it. Nope. Fair. That's fair. Nope. I swear I hit the jump button in time, but oh well. Just in case. Really rather not have to worry about that crap. Nice. Hey, I got an extra life back. Cool. That'll help out in hard mode. Or the second run, I should say. Oh, God. We're at the boss. We're at the boss again. Those things will become more plentiful as we get closer to the boss. And here it is. Is there any way to destroy those? Yes, there is. Good, 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 good. Art is the main focus. But this thing is basically the reason for the problems that the Contra Force is dealing with. This is the leader. In a matter of speaking, though, this the heart itself might not be. I don't remember. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's the game. <laughs> and because I beat it in about 30 minutes, why not? I'll do the sec- try and do the second loop. You destroyed the vile red falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. So yeah, it's-
it's one of the first running gunners, if not the first. And, uh... Whew! It's supposed to get harder from here, but, uh... The sequel to this, I actually... Don't find that difficult. Even on the second loop. And watch, now that I've said that and I'm streaming it... I'm gonna have difficulty with it. <laughs> but first and foremost, I'm gonna play through the second loop if I'm able to, because I might end up losing all my lives before I end up, uh, before I beat the red, uh, before I beat the final boss again. Interesting that it plays the game over music there. Just saying. I have eight lives remaining. What? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Yay, nine lives. Gotta make sure to jump. But yeah, enemies are more prone to shooting all kinds of other things. Funnily enough, I... I had so much difficulty with this game back then that I I couldn't even beat it with the 30 lives and all the continues it provides. It wasn't until uh, the third game for the Super Nintendo, uh, Contra 3, that I was able to beat my first Contra. Oh, no. Okay, gotta place my jumps well enough. Oh, I hit the jump button. Come on. Oh, well. That thing's happened. Whether I like it or not. Now, that is powerful. But if memory serves, to get the most out of it, kind of got to be closer. Oh. We'll see how far I can get with the amount of lives I have remaining, including the continues. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, didn't mean to get hit. Oh, well. I'm purposefully holding off because I want spread shot, daggone it. Plus, every enemy killed does net me some points. Towards the level up. Okay, guess the, uh... Pow the power-up wilder wasn't... Uh, 
Okay. Just the machine gun. Gotcha. <sighs> ah, still hit it. Fine, I'll take the fire shot. Ah. Damn these turrets. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, they fire so much faster now. Or the bullets move faster for these enemies. But at least that's the way it seemed for that first shot. That or it was trying for a cheap shot. Part of the reason I'm jumping is because, well, if I can manage to hit, uh, hit it with a shot that knocks it off, uh, knocks the, the box, uh, knocks the image away and allows me to shoot another one quicker. If the shot manages to hit something, that is. Which is very, very handy. Ah! You know what? Yeah, I'll take the laser over the over the fire any day. Unintentional. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh god. No. Bad game. Oh. One less bullet to worry about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. Oh. So nervous because I think I'm on my last four lives for this continue. Can't destroy the uh, the shots. Luckily, it doesn't get much more difficult than that. Okay, yeah, I was right. I'm on my last set of lives. Cheap work, yeah. <laughs> kind of gotta have it. <laughs> oh no, the snow field is after this. After this next mission. Oh. I'd rather take the hit.
I want... Come on, where's... Where's the power holder? Fine, I'll keep moving. No. Yeah, like I was waiting for that. No. Ah. Oh well. Laser. <sighs> okay, good. Yep, the red guys have power ups. Ooh, rapid. And I su unwittingly got an extra life. They only have power-ups in the, uh, in the base stages. Well, let's get this stage done and over with. Jumped wide into that. Oh well, looks like it's gonna be the same way last as last time. Ugh. <sighs> Anyone can move like that in midair. <laughs> I would like to see it. <laughs> oh. Now that we've reached this point, I will be right back. All right, let's do this. Well, it doesn't look like there's more of these, so that's good. I'm not gonna lie, for a moment I thought the, uh, the explosion from those uh, grenades being thrown was gonna hit me.
I'm glad I was not standing there. That would have sucked. Okay, that's not really a rapid per se, but... It did give me more uh, points enough to get an extra life. So, yay. Whew. One down. I was expecting some enemies to come up from behind during that. I'm not gonna lie. Whew. Oh! Well, there goes my spread shot for the boss fight. But hey, there's a laser here. Got it. Get it without it going off screen. Ah, okay, good. My ducking down, going into the prone position, is what allowed me to freaking pick it up. That's actually rather amusing to me. Well, that's gonna make this boss interesting. Ah, game over. You know what? I'm sorry, what? No, no, no. I thought hit and continue would actually reset it to three. I could have sworn that's how it works. I, I, I must be re misremembering, because I swear, in the past, back when I played this game on the native hardware, Continue would reset it back to three. Huh. It kept the 30. It kept the 30 lives. It doesn't feel right beating the second loop now. It... Mm. Nothing really changes in the ending either, if I recall. You know what? We're close enough. Fuck it. Let's do this. The game doesn't stand a chance against me now. Oh no. I won't. Ah, well, now I can get it. Nope. You are not landing on me. Get rid of that stupid enemy. Oh. 
I can't believe those things ever gave me so much trouble as a kid. Yay, I didn't freaking fall for it this time. I almost did, though. Alright. On to the energy base. Or whatever the hell it's called. Energy zone. That's right. Ah, uh, no, nah, I'm good on the machine. Yung! No. Not that I need the extra lives, but why not? Yeah, I remembered you were coming up. Freaking flamethrowers. Watching someone, uh, watching two people playing this together and speedrunning it, or help, just one person speedrunning it with, I did it again, with two controllers, is just fascinating to see. One of these days, I'm gonna have to do the double dragon games. Uh, I need to put those on my list. Alright, second to last stage. Let's go. Nope. I'll stick with this, thank you. Oh god! Go ahead. I believe that was a laser too. That would have come in useful. Huh! Didn't know they would be strong enough to pull that off. Or not strong enough, but in smart enough to jump up there. Oh, bull. Alright, fine. I won't get it. I'll do the stage legit. All because I got a little too trigger happy. an interesting one. Let 
me see that again. No? You're not doing it? Is there no way past that without dying? Really? The lower route is a fucking death trap? Interesting. Like, I'd understand being able to get through it if you had the... The, uh, invulnerability item, but... Ah. I fell through it again! I wasn't paying attention yet again! Okay, good. None of them are smart enough to jump up. Well, fuck you too, game. Oh god, there's three of them on screen now. Oh, okay, so they do eventually go away, good to know. Now for the annoying wall turrets. Oh, and there goes my spread shot. That's gonna make this, uh, uh, rather interesting. On the final boss. Oh, come on. I'm getting rid of that annoyance. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Not meaning to hit the heart, but hey. I don't care at this point. Oh god. <laughs> ah. Okay, you wanna play that? Interesting that it actually uh beats faster the closer to death it is. I would I I didn't notice that before. But a little over an hour, three minutes.
a little over an hour, especially even with the break. Both playthroughs. Sure, I use the Konami code. I'm I'm okay with that. But I've gotten better at the game. Yeah, we've stopped the Red Falcon's forces. Uh, from gaining a foothold on on uh, the planet. But, uh... It's not the last we'll see of his forces, that's for sure. Seeing as, you know, well, there are sequels to the game. But, interestingly enough, in, I suppose, only the Japanese version, because I'm not sure about the arcade version uh, of the game, uh, after the credits, we actually get a screen that's basically Red Falcon swearing revenge. Now, if memory serves, it doesn't get harder from here. It's just the same difficulty as uh, the uh, the previous part. So let's. I'm gonna put up the break screen right quick. This is where I'm calling it for the Contra One stream. I'm going to basically be changing things up, putting on uh, the sequel. So give me just a moment. <laughs> 